Hello everybody, welcome to True Tuber Tip. In this video, I want to show you how you remove the not applicable error in Excel. You see, this is a marks table of of an exam for five students. The marks are written here and here uh, in these cells VLOOKUP function is used. That is when you enter the student name their marks in the respective subjects will be shown here. Just write down David. You see David's marks are shown here. But here is only five students. If you by mistake enter a student name who is isn't in the list then what happens just enter student name let's write down Tony you see as he's not in the list so this error is showing that is not applicable it is not in the list if you want to hide this list then what to do you want to show a dash marks like this when the student is not in the list not this error so what to do you have to edit this this vlookup there is an another function called if error here when the this student names is not found in the list it gives an error so why so when the error comes then you have to show a specific text so that the if error function does so after equal to sign write if error open parenthesis and go to the end if error comma value if error I want to give a hyphen when the error comes so in the inverted comma write down hyphen and now the close parenthesis and hit enter so when you write down David, you see his numbers, but when you write down Tony, it gives dash in the math. Similarly, edit this formula also. There is another function which tells us that the outcome of a function is not applicable or not the function is i is any it checks whether a value is not applicable if it is not applicable then it returns true you see turns true so you can do the same thing by using the is in a function also copy this and write down the formula if this is close the parenthesis if this is true that is if the formula is not applicable then return dash and if it is not if it, if it is applicable then returns the vlookup itself close the parenthesis and hit enter so by using the is 
in a function also you can do the same thing there is another function called is error this function checks not applicable hash value hash reference divisible by zero all the errors so when there is this type of error it gives the return true so the is in a function returns true only when the cell is not applicable but the is error returns true for all types of errors so is error is a very good function whether the all error comes into questions so i have given you the if error is any is error all the functions if error is nothing but a combination of if and is error by using any of these three functions you can check whether your formula is returning error or not whether error you can give the specific text thanks for watching if you find this video helpful do like share and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you stay tuned